Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday. Um, I'm going to say Sunday and let's just cross our fingers. I know I just made a video live this morning. <laughs> it was from, <laughs> I think last Monday. Um, so hopefully tomorrow this video will be live and then I don't know. We'll just see. I'm getting better and better and better at, um, in fact, last week was such a great um, progression for me in making, um, making myself, my goal has been to work smarter, not harder, to be more efficient so that I can not have to look at all the new things that I want to do, um, kind of for myself on a personal level and then also with my business and my company um, and not make it seem like, oh, okay, I'm doing all of this stuff. You guys have known it's big, been a big challenge of mine to feel not feel so overwhelmed with the totality of all the stuff that's on my plate, right? But I've realized that it's been more of myself and my attitude towards how much work I have to do, my not having focus every day, um, not looking at my day and saying, okay, I'm just gonna chunk this down. That's an old, old concept and I've known about it, but until I really started looking at my day strategically, I wasn't able to understand that I could get so much done, that I could still have time for myself, that I could have time for my workouts and not be rushed and not not have time for stretching and not not have time to make my meals or eat a meal and enjoy time with friends. Last week, I really started putting some of these things in place with, um, there were just a couple of days that I said, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. And, and with my work day, um, it was a great feeling. There were two of these days. I know that might sound funny to you. You're like, two days? Well, yeah, then I had three days that were like my old days used to be, kind of running me over. Um, I just felt like, where did the day go? I didn't get things accomplished. But I guess to, to me, the fact that I did have two different days, that gave me a glimpse of my future. And what I did, I don't know if this is helpful to you guys, um, this is from a work perspective, is instead of me going into my days, like if I had a day where I had no call scheduled, and any day that I have no call scheduled is a glorious day for me. I have done so many calls and meetings the past three years that it is the bane of my existence. So to me, not having to get on the phone with anybody, not having to do calls is a beautiful thing. That's not a reflection of the people. Sorry, that's my uh, computer. It's not a reflection of other people. It's a reflection of too much, you know, it just too many meetings, too many phone calls, you know, just, it, 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 it's just been nonstop. So when I have a day like that where I'm like, oh, this is so awesome. And this has been me in the past. We get caught up. And then inevitably what would happen is because I didn't have a strategy for my days, because I would just kind of take whatever came in, you know, I'd address emails as they came in. I would start on something, get distracted by something, get on a phone call with something, all of it not planned. And I'd get to the end of the day and feel tired, frazzled, disappointed in myself because I really didn't accomplish the three or four top things that I said I was going to do. But I didn't have any plan for my day. What I did last week with these two days where I just, I, I texted my friend Sherry, I'm like, oh, I just nailed it today. This is what my future needs to be like. Um, I, I decided that every hour of my day is going to be focused on something different. So, you know, this hour might be strictly working on follow-up. The next hour, and then what I do in between each one of my hours is I might, and it might be that I take 10 minutes out, of, last 10 minutes out of hour number one, and then I'll come grab one of my magazines and just go out back and read a magazine for myself. It has nothing to do with business, shifting my mind. Then I go back in and I'm gonna say, okay, this hour, Last hour I did follow up. Now I'm gonna work on these proposals that are due. I'm gonna do this until nine o'clock a.m. And then at nine o'clock a.m. I'm gonna take 10 minutes and I'm gonna go for a walk outside. Or maybe at that point I might go, I'm gonna take a half an hour and go for a walk. And I'm gonna to listen to my podcast. I've become a podcast addict. Um, then I'm gonna come back in and say from, you know, 9.30 to 10 o'clock, I'm going to do this. And then, you know, so, and, it, and I have to make it for myself, what was great is to do a really marked difference. So don't say, I'm gonna do these proposals this hour, 
And the next hour I'm going to do these proposals, make it completely different, you know, and then throw in 10 minutes of Facebook and Pinterest time in there. Throw in uh, a time where you go sit, sit out back and just meditate and, and have quiet time to yourself. That, it, it made me so not want to stop my day where in the past I've gotten to the point where there's been this in internal mental, mental attitude of me going, give me a reason to keep going. I'm so tired. I don't want to do any of this stuff. It was a huge shift and I'm really, really excited. So that said, I'm also really excited because I'm in the process of hiring an assistant for myself um, who's going to help me with things like getting my videos up. Um, you know, I, I should have done this years ago. In fact, I've had several people say to me, you don't have an assistant yet? Like, I have work. There's a difference between staff that works for you at your company and then personal. I need a personal assistant and I need it like two years ago. Um, so I'm interviewing and, and talking to a couple people and probably that won't happen until I come back from vacation. I'm leaving for Miami next Thursday and I won't be back until the following Sunday. So almost two weeks or never. I might never come back. I'm just kidding. But I am looking for houses while I'm down there. So uh, making moves. But um, yeah, I feel really good about getting more consistent in everything. And frankly, guys, here's the deal. Um, since the beginning of the year, I have made progress on everything. Um, it's never as fast as I want to be, but I'm also being kinder to myself and giving myself a break. Here's the other thing. This is a side note. It's Sunday. It's supposed to be rainy and crappy today, and I'm so <laughs> I'm actually a little annoyed right now because I'm looking outside, and it's very sunny. And you might go, why are you upset that it is sunny? I was so excited because yesterday was rainy and dreary and just kind of humid and all of that. And I was really excited that um, today was supposed to be the same because then I told myself I was going to stay in in my office. I went to church and that I was going to really work on updating my book. So I'm updating my first book, the book that I wrote in 2010. Um, and I'm going to put these details in the book. but. I did have a publishing deal and then that fell through with a certain publisher and then it was such a kind of a, a cataclysmic or that's not the word I'm looking for, um, anticlimactic experience with that publisher that um, shortly thereafter then I had started my new job, that was before I founded this company and what I had learned about traditional publishing was something that just didn't appeal to me. I wanted to get my book out there. The book uh, back then was Social Media for Business. That was well before I founded Fit Fluential, even came up with the idea. Um, but, you know, I, I wanted to get it out there and I knew that it was good. I knew that I'd written a book that was the kind of book I like to read where it, it's the way I view it is it's a book you can read. It's funny. It's engaging, but it's not so deep that you have to go only one chapter at a time. Like I wanted a kind of book that I'd read where you could read it on a, a long plane trip or you could read it at a day at, at the beach and then start applying this stuff. So I've always wanted to, and I've had several people say, whatever, whatever happened with your book and why did you do that? And then I kept thinking, oh, I just, I don't want to go down that, that path of, of, you know, shopping publishers again and negotiating. And, and then my PR agent would tell me this, you know, if you go that traditional route, then they want you to do a book tour. I, ain't nobody got time in my life for a book tour. Not to mention the fact that I don't want to sit at a Barnes and Noble. I love Barnes and Noble. Um, you know, and, and try to rally up people to, um, you know, come to a book signing um, when I'm a brand new author and there's like 8 billion authors every day. So it's funny, I will go into this in a separate video because I'm almost at my limit, but a lot of different meetings the past three or four months have completely changed my mind on e-publishing, completely changed my skeptical mind on e-publishing. Because if you would have told me a year and a half ago or even nine months ago that I'd be e-publishing my own book, I would have been like, oh, yeah. and I'm going to start my own version of Thighmaster and sell it for $29.99. Um, skepticism is a bad thing. In fact, that's going to be another one of my um, uh, books or topics that I'm going to publish afterwards. And it is it, it's something that can be great for diet and fitness, uh, but also just for life. And I'm going to call it the skepticism diet, I think, because uh, changing my skeptical outlook on so many things has changed my life and opened doors. Um, and it's part of the reason why I'm so excited about the future. Changing my skeptical attitude. Even when you think you're not skeptical, you can be a positive mindset person and be skeptical. You can be skeptical about 
this fitness approach or this diet approach or this person um, that maybe you keep becoming exposed to their stuff online and you're so skeptical, you're like, I don't like it. And then you're thinking, maybe I shouldn't be so skeptical. Maybe there's a reason that I keep being exposed to this person and maybe I should check them out or whatever. So um, I need to wrap up because it's 10 minutes and I'm gonna shoot some more videos today, so don't you worry unless it continues to stay sunny and then I might be shooting more videos tomorrow. Um, but anyway, I, I did want to tell you guys a little check-in from my last video. Um, I've made more progress, had um, a, a meeting with my doctor um, about my diet and my foods and my supplements. Um, he did, thank you God, he did tell me I could go back on the metformin. You guys, metformin, if you do some Googling, that is specifically to address insulin and insulin resistance. Sometimes it's used with folks that have diabetes, is my understanding. Um, but I was very, very, the more that I got frustrated with all the progress that was being made and then frustrated that I didn't feel like I was seeing the fat loss in my core um, as much as I thought I should be at nine or 10 weeks in, I think I'm 10 weeks in now, um, I, I realized like, okay, we took me off of the metformin my doctor did that because I had experienced such extreme um, being tired, for lack of a better way of saying it, and we thought that that was due to the metformin and maybe a low blood sugar situation. But my gut just kept telling me, like, I think that I, that, I mean, this is, I need my insulin resistance addressed. You guys heard me talk about this whole thing when, when I started realizing that that was there. It's interesting, I'm gonna have to go back and look in my videos to see when I started to see this. Um, but. You know, again, that my, my gut just kept telling me, and this is the difference in me before and after. I'm an advocate for my own health. Instead of me going, okay, whatever you say, I was proactively nudging my doctor and saying, look, I, I really, unless you give me a solid reason why I shouldn't, I really would like you to put me back on this. And so we are, and I've been back on it for four days. And that in combination with my diet getting better and better and me making some tweaks here and there, I, I feel like I'm starting to see differences every day. Um, so I will go into more detail on that on my next video. I'm going to wrap this up. It's 12 minutes. Darn it! My goal is to get back under 10 minute vlogs every day, um, you guys, but we'll see if I can do it next time. Talk to you tomorrow.